engine in AutoCAD 2016 replaces the previous one. This physically-based path tracing renderer provides a simpler way to render in AutoCAD that can produce better results. The new render UI has significantly fewer settings, making it faster and easier to create renderings. Render presets enable you to specify the render quality either by the number of rendering iterations or by how much time you want to allow it to render. Tooltips assist you in making an appropriate choice. The new Render Presets Manager is much simpler than the previous Render Presets Manager. You can modify, create, and delete custom render presets, specify render preset name and description, as well as the duration and accuracy. You can render directly from the Render Presets Manager, choosing where to render and to what size. Your custom presets, as well as controls for where and what size to render, are also accessible from the Render Panel on the ribbon. Expanding the Render Panel provides access to the new Render Environment and Exposure Palette, which offers powerful new image-based lighting environments. When the Environment Control is turned on, you can select from predefined image-based lighting environments. The image-based lighting environments automatically apply lighting effects. Some of them include 360-degree background images that emulate a realistic environment. In this example, you can see the environment reflected in the hubcaps of the car. If you orbit the model, the 360-degree background image renders accordingly. Additional controls in the Render Environment and Exposure palette enable you to adjust the exposure and white balance. The new Render window displays the current render process and enables you to zoom in and out while rendering. You can view previous renders, save them to a file, and print them.